everyone welcome to my channel Nicklex. in this video I'm going to tell you how to insert a data into your database with the help of a HTML form so uh, we can insert data into a MySQL database with the help of form like let's make a form I'm quickly making a form where we are going to Uh, the body part and we can say uh, we are creating a form uh, let's say uh, we have enter name input type text its name equals to n and we can just copy this and we have input type text name equals to m and you can say input type equals to submit name equals to save and value is save the form. So I'm going to save this in my PHP and I will name it as form connect.php. So uh, there is a form and if I'm going to say here local host uh, PHP form connect.php here my form comes and here I'm going to just put a break in order to look at something nice and more precise. Uh, let's say enter name marks. So we have two type of forms uh, form methods. One is uh, the get method, then the other is the post method. The get method is the simple method. So if I'm going to say here as name ABC and marks 100 and if form method is get then after saving the form it is it's showing me all the values uh, in my URL as I have not specified any action. So if I have not specified any action uh, uh, the same file will be called and all the values of name and marks will be uh, like pass to that same particular file. So in the top of the URL uh, the name n of enter name the marks of the name m of enter marks uh, whatever I'm going to write here will be displayed into your URL. So uh, input type text name n and input type text name m and if I'm going to use here the form method as post then these values will be passed in the hidden manner. So enter name, it's ABC marks equals 2000. So if I'm going to click the save button, the values are being passed, but that values are not being shown in your URL and anywhere, anywhere else. So this is the best method for creating a form and posting it. Let's see how to insert data with into my database with this form. So I'm going to write here if not empty dollar underscore get save if the form method is save then you have to specify here uh, the method as get and if it is post then you have to specify it here the method as post. So we have a form method get so if not empty dollar underscore get save so if save is having a value then I'm going to get a name it's get name is a variable so n is the name of the text box of enter name so I have written here as dollar square get n and here I'm going to write as dollar square get m so get marks and here I'm going to say here as query insert into student student is my table name name and marks the values will be uh, you can say here as get name and uh, it's the integer value so I'm going to write here in without single quote so if now uh, I'm going to write here as uh, if my SQL I underscore query so connect query equal record insert it else equal record not insert so insert, uh, let's check out a database. So we have localhost, phpMyAdmin, 
uh, yes uh, like in the previous video i have created a database name as1 so that data is available with me so student is a table that is already been made over here so insert into uh, here i am so insert into student student is the table name and the name and marks are the column names and the values is get name get name is a, a variable uh, that is to having a value of n and get marks is a variable that is having a value of m that is marks so uh, we need to like open a connection over here so if you want to open a connection you need to specify here as mysql i connect is an inbuilt function and in that we have to pass the four parameters the first one is the local host uh, your server name this one then the username as root by default its username is root the password is blank by default and as1 is the database name so if this connection is being made with the database uh, it will be returning a connection in the connect variable uh, and if it is not being made uh, then a message will be displayed as connection failed so if not empty dot underscore get save uh, let's check out some stuff by just entering like let it say it's say john dear john cena and it's 1000 and save the form so n equals to john cena m equals to 1000 and save uh, it's been passed in the url after submitting the form and here if not empty dollar underscore get save means if save is having a value in the url because here i have specified for method get so i need to specify here uh, dollar underscore get so if the save is having the value then dollar underscore get n n is having a value of john cena that will be coming into and storing into the get name variable dollar so get m m is a value that will be coming in the get marks variable so insert into student student is a uh, like table name uh, in the es1 database i have connected with the es1 database student is a table name and name and marks is its column name and the values will be the uh, as i have seen that the name is having a where so i need to specify it in the single quote and the marks is having the value as integer so i need to check uh, give without single quote so get marks is have is a variable that is storing that is storing the marks of uh, that is storing the value of marks so i have to specify it here get marks so if this query is been executed uh, my sql i query is a function that is contain that is like uh, having two parameters one is a connection variable of the database and the second one is a query variable in which the in which table you have to store the data with store the data uh, so if the mysql query is been executed it will be returning as true so if true comes then record inserted message will be displayed and if it is not then record not inserted message should be displayed so i have put here as uh, let's say tanya and 1000 save the form so record inserted message has been displayed and so i'm going to click here in the browse section so earlier i have uh, like inserted john cena so here john cena with the marks 1000 and now i have inserted tanya so it's been saved with the tanya and the marks 1000 so this way you can just add uh, your data into your database with the help of php form I hope you like my video and if you like my video do share and like my videos and do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates of php tutorial and many more so thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you